guys and welcome back to my channel in today's video as you can see from the title I am in downtown Philly I also was in South Philly yesterday I spent the weekend here and I went to South Philly barbacoa which was featured on a Netflix documentary called chef's table if you haven't seen it I'll leave the link down below in the description box I'll be showing you what I ate at South Philly barbacoa and today I'm going to the Reading terminal market which is a big food market that has so many different types of foods that you definitely want to try when you're in downtown Philly so stay Stay tuned for all of that. Do consider subscribing if you want to join the foodie family and hit the bell icon so you're notified every time I upload a new video and now let's get straight into it. Yesterday I was in the bustling neighborhood of South Philly and in this location there's so many Spanish restaurants but I wanted to visit this specific one because it was featured on Chef's Table on Netflix. So at South Philly Barbacoa everything is made out of lamb. The lamb tacos, the lamb pancetta and even the soup that they make is made out of the lamb broth, the lamb juices that come out when the lamb is cooked in the barbacoa style. So barbacoa essentially is just a method of preparing meat or cooking meat just like barbecue. So barbecue comes from barbacoa make their own handmade corn tortillas and you can order the lamb meat in kilos or per taco and they have a wide selection of toppings that you can choose from they have cilantro onions cactus uh, different types of salsa and I can tell you this is the best taco that I've ever had the meat was so tender and even the pancetta which was also made from lamb was seasoned with all these different spices and had so much flavor if you don't want to try out the pancetta that they have you can just get the regular lamb and for all my Muslim viewers out there all the lamb is 100% halal so you have no excuse to not try this out you should definitely come out to South Philly to try out South Philly barbacoa it's definitely a place that I highly highly recommend So I had to do a voiceover for this part because there was music playing in the market and I didn't want to get flagged by YouTube for using copyright music and also people were talking in the background. So Reading Terminal is a huge indoor market that first opened in 1893. Yes, it's very old and a landmark in Pennsylvania. It has 70 plus vendors selling fresh and local food and produce. The vendors are family owned businesses selling anything from vegetables and fruits to seafood and homemade sausages, fresh meat, cooked food, desserts to die for, fresh cheese, etc., and so many more knickknacks. Everyone was so helpful and friendly at each of the shops, and you really get the vibe of the family-owned establishments. It's a must-visit place when you're in the downtown Philly area. They have everything you can think of. When I was at Reading Terminal Market, I stopped at one of the diners there called Down Home Diner. They have all the diner classics, omelets, corned beef hash, etc, etc. But we ordered a fried whiting fish with cheesy grits. This was so flavorful and crispy on the outside and the fish was still very tender inside. And the grits were buttery and cheesy. It was the perfect match. And also we had one of my favorites, biscuits and gravy. The biscuits were so soft and pillowy topped with a savory creamy gravy it was heavenly and a very hearty way to start the day for sure i didn't even eat for the rest of the day because it was so filling and i highly recommend this classic american diner with down home cooking specialties but you also have so many other options to try in the market that you don't need to stick to just one
Hey guys, so it is actually a few days later. I never got a chance to film an outro for you guys out there in Philly and I didn't want to end the video at like a random spot just in the middle of the video so uh, let me know in the comments below what you guys think of today's video I do want to do more of like the travel and food tour types of vlogs so let me know in the comments below what you guys think I love hearing from you and I love your guys' feedback so if you guys enjoyed today's video make sure to like, comment, share and subscribe I hope you guys do get to visit the places that I showed in today's video and I'll be seeing you in the next one guys until then take care of yourselves.